been in the industry uh, for 23 years, yes, I think, as a recovering loan officer. <laughs> yeah. And in title. And Shelly? Hi, Shelly Johnson with Home Warranty of America. I've been with HWA and in the industry for over 16 years. Yeah, so we've got some experience here and we're today we're going to really talk about LinkedIn and, and, and Facebook. I really work on LinkedIn and Shelly is really, really good at Facebook. So we're going to go through this together and kind of give you some ideas, a 30,000 foot view, right, of you can get really into the weeds on this stuff and, it, you know, I kind of keep it general and we're just going to give you some ideas on how to leverage LinkedIn, how to leverage Facebook and, and use it to your potential and use it for obviously lead generation, networking and sales, right? We all want to make, who wants to make more sales, right? Yay. We all do. So That's what we're well, here for. before we get started though, who is on Facebook for business? Raise your hands. Okay, so about half, right? And then who's on LinkedIn for business? Wow, that almost was really weird. It was yeah. like Facebook over here and LinkedIn over here, right? And or but, any other social media avenues that people are on. We're not talking about that well, as much. Inst but, yeah, inst Instagram. Tom, yeah, Instagram. Steven Tran's on everywhere. Everything. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so basically what we're going to do is business to business. This is kind of the concept because who's in business to business here? We're pretty much all in business yeah. to business, right? So, and definitely you're in business to business. Absolutely. Yeah, and sales and marketing through that. So kind of four steps that we're going to be covering. We have a half, half an hour to kind of cover a lot of different things. But generating referrals, leads, and networking through your social media platform. Express who you are, what you do, and the value that you can bring to, to the you know, potential relationships. Does that make sense to everybody? Who you are, what you do, and the value that you can bring. Marketing and sales. We're going to talk a little bit about that, kind of some of the things that we want to do, and then connecting, right? Connecting through um, LinkedIn and Facebook. Shelly, do you have anything to add to that? I'm, no, I think he's doing good. a great job covering it. All right. And but so, because, well, express, I mean, what you do too, I mean, because that's, she, Shelly does a great job on that because she's always on on Facebook. She's always promoting and she's visible. Always on. And she's bringing value too, right? We always want to bring value. Okay. Um, to the post. So here we go. Generating leads, referrals, and networking. <coughs> Who should be your ideal contact? Well, everybody, right? Realtors in the room. Who are the realtors in the room? Okay, and the loan officers in the room. Real, are you a realtor too? Yeah. You know, for realtors, if you're a realtor, you got a loan officers, right? A good couple people to go after are financial planners, divorce attorneys, networking groups. As uh, Luke mentioned he can advertise directly to some of those people, right? In in your in your deal, so that's a really good thing. Um, and uh, if you can really segment that out and go after people, that would be a fantastic fantastic idea. So we're talking about that, maybe doing that for the title company to be able to to advertise. But think about all the business to business relationships you have. Again, you want to be able to talk about who you are, what you do, and the value you bring. Absolutely. And I think it's important to, you know, look at your database, your who's also on your, whether it be on LinkedIn or Facebook, who is your audience, and who have you connected or not connected with, who do you need to connect with? Yeah, because you have your database, all right, who has a functional da actual database and a CRM says, good, you're always my peoples right here, yeah. <laughs> but you also have a social media database, is that correct, too? Yep. You know, especially with LinkedIn. Um, when we talk about connecting with LinkedIn, I'm very careful who I connect with, right? I really keep it real estate specific. How about you? Well, and, and Facebook. And, yeah, and Facebook, how do I say this? I, I have one page, as everyone knows, and I have my personal friends, you know, or my family, but then I also have, I, I choose to have one page. You on Facebook, a lot of people have a business page, and a personal page. And that's important for you guys to decide what works for you or what your company allows you to do, too. Um, you know, some brokers or companies don't want you having a personal, you know, talking about it on your personal, they want you to have a business page. I personally choose not to have a business person page. Yeah. One thing I found, you guys, is that the business page operates so much differently than yeah. a personal yeah. page. Yeah. That's why I have a personal, because also, right. let's be honest, we all want to know everyone's personal stuff, too. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, you know, people know, know that I have kids, you know, yeah. whatever. That I was on vacation or yeah. whatever. Yeah. The database, too, in that social media database, you know, with LinkedIn, um, I pick and choose kind of who I want to be with, right? right? So I can segment it down. I mean, I get, does anybody get a lot of junk stuff on LinkedIn, too, and they want to connect with you? You don't know yeah. who that person yeah. is, right? You don't know who that person is. You don't know where they are. Now, I, it's not specifically for me, just realtors and loan officers. I'll do financial planners and a few other people, too, that are going to be at Spear. But a 90, 90, at least 90% or higher, about 92%, I would say, of those people in my database on social media, I know or right. had some type of contact with, right? Well, that's the, that's the start. Right, and I think uh, for me, when I meet with somebody, um, or I have met you, I always will ask, are you on Facebook? Can we be Facebook friends? I will just right then and there, find them and connect with them. Because yeah. you want to get as many people, as many friends, I probably have over 3,000, 4,000 real estate friends. Yeah, you know, okay. So don't be shy to ask. Right. And the, the biggest thing, too, with our database, we work with a uh, CRM system. And then within that CRM system, I can do a smart search. And it pulls up, uh, we use PipeDrive. And it pulls up all their social media information if it's available. And so I get a client that comes through, and they just sent us a deal. I'll, hook up, I'll go to LinkedIn, click on it, and say, hey, thanks for the order you sent over our way. I'd love to connect with you. Yep. And it's just a great opportunity to build that database. Does that make sense to everybody? Good. All right. So the messaging, right? You ever get in front of LinkedIn or Facebook and go, what do I say? Right? What do I do? Anybody have that issue? Raise your hands. Yep. You know, so um, the messaging is, you know, you want to be as original as possible. Just in my, that's just, it's just my opinion. Anybody been on LinkedIn or Facebook before? Right? And you see what? The same messages from different people, but it's cut and paste. Oh, cut. yeah, Does yeah, that yeah. Make, did you make sense? Have you guys seen that before? That they, 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 To me, <clears throat> this is just my opinion, they're just putting it out there just to put it out there and in, in, in the content. So. Yeah, and those of you that do see my Facebook, I think it's important to, I literally do, po Monday through Friday at least, I post every day around the same time, too between 80 and 30. In fact, if it's like 9 o'clock, I feel like it's late. And I like when it says about being original or creating your own thing, I don't talk necessarily about real estate mm -hmm. issues. Happy Monday. And I always say this. Everyone probably knows, but I have always said, I start off with happy Monday, happy Tuesday. We won't go into that quite yesterday's day yet. Um, but, mm -hmm. you know, I don't necessarily... Post like even if you look at today's post, I did something funny. I found something on Instagram. It was something from the past, and yeah, if you are friends with me, you can go to it right now. But it was I, pretty funny. It was really <laughs> funny. It's about something from the eighties and how you block calls or something like that. That yeah, was a rotary phone. Yeah, you just took, <laughs> yeah, the, you just took yeah. the receiver off it. That's but all. but but you get different audiences. Why you want to be original <coughs> is you get different audiences and stuff based on. What you put on there. Yeah, we're going <clears> to, <throat> in the next couple of slides, we're going to give you some ideas yeah. on some of the things you can do. Because everybody kind of knows how to operate Facebook and LinkedIn. That's yeah. not what we're going to, we're just here to give yeah. you ideas and how to think outside of the box on LinkedIn and Facebook. Um, and maybe push you in the right direction to go to some resources and tools that you can use to be able to gather that Use it successfully. Use it successfully, but try to be as original as possible. Uh, I mean, there's things out there that you can use that no one else, I mean, just see what everybody else is doing. And if you see a great piece of information, to me, that's a little bit of originality because no one sees it. Right. Right. Uh, describe what you do. Keep it short and impactful. Can I also comment on something? Yes, absolutely. One of my, it's very important. You're a new loan officer. It's very important. You need to tell people what you yes. do. Okay, if you're right. a new realtor or your high school friends may not know that. They thought of you in the jewelry business or whatever you did beforehand. Mm -hmm. So it's important to let people know what you do. Loan officer, title, you know, whatever, home warranty rep. Yep. You know, let people know, and this is one of my biggest pet peeves. On your wall or your contact information, please put your phone number or your email, phone number. 
I so many times will go to someone's page because they want me to reach out or they want, and, and, and they don't have their phone number. How can I call you? And then I, and then I have to do the message, messenger, which works, but if you're trying to sell a home or you're trying to get someone's approval on a loan or whatever, them to call you, how can they reach out to you? Yeah, Just one point. of my pet peeves. No, that's, that's <clears throat> great. Uh, but keep, yeah, that's awesome, you know, and keep your message short and impactful. Anybody peruse yes. through LinkedIn and Facebook and see a post this long? What right. do you do? Who's going to read it? I Skip it. it. Yep. Why do you think yeah. all the news cycles have it all in bold and they have it like listed here, 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 because you can scroll down. And if you're really interested in that story, you're going to do what? Go in and take a look at it. So yeah. keep the information short and impactful. Yeah. No one likes to read you know, five, ten, and especially, now this is off topic a little bit, but your emails too. If I'm emailing an agent or a realtor or somebody, I keep it short and sweet. Yeah. People just don't have time in the attention span to be sit there li looking at a Shakespearean yeah. email <laughs> that says out there, where, there, you know, right? And so that it, it just doesn't, it doesn't happen. We're such, so fast in social media and everything. And also using LinkedIn or, or this, mm -hmm. I think... We were kind of talking about this with the images and what you were saying with your ads, but do an image. Yep. Create a picture. Google's our best friend. Yeah. You can, you know, I say happy Monday, wishing you a great day, and I just Google it and screenshot it and save it. Yeah, the short and sweet and, and for an action. I mean, it's just people just like to produce <clears throat> that stuff. I, that's just me because if I see something long and lengthy, it's like, yeah, oh. Yeah, they're not going to look. Yeah. So, and then the value you can bring to the relationship, your unique selling proposition. What are those unique selling propositions that you have? What makes you different in the marketplace? What strengths do you have or what can you express to people why they should yep. use you? Does that make sense? So, that's yeah. the biggest Yeah, and that's thing. what I want to say. You need to brand yourself. Yeah. And everyone knows... <laughs> I give away nail files. I'm not, I, I have branded myself as the nail file lady. I literally use that term, and I may have said this to some of you already, but I went to Realtors Unite um, last fall, September, October, whenever, and I said, oh, hi, Shelly Johnson with Home Warranty of America. She didn't say hi to me. She didn't say welcome. She said, oh, can I get a nail file? Yep. You, crooked crumble. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, you know, everyone has a thing, and if you don't have a thing, I don't care what industry you're in. We have title, we have mortgage, we have realtors, we have insurance. Brand yourself. Uh, I just came up with a really good idea right now. Our pens are our biggest thing. Nobody likes it, but we do accept our pen. No, okay. <laughs> our pens. Our okay. Ancona title pens, raise your hand. Are they the best pens? I need, one. Post on that. Yeah. you need one. I need one. I need one. I have a pen fetish. Got one right over there. Pen for you. But you know, really I well. need a nail file. Let me know. Well, and that's you the branding. If, okay. we're, if we're giving out crappy pens, we might be labeled as a crappy title company. They are nice pens. Company, blue right? ones. Yeah. Right? I mean, the, the pens, are, are nice. pens are kind of our tool of our resources. So, But, but you, yeah. it gets you thinking, what can you do or your company? Maybe you, I mean, this is not me doing this, but do something. And if I may go on. Sure. To say one other thing? Sure. Okay, for years and years and years, everyone knows me and we're in what color? Purple. Yes. I have branded myself in purple. Now, if you look at me, I'm not wearing purple today. I have, this is just me pers more personally. I'm like, I'm a different person. It's a new year. I'm not always wearing purple. So. But, and people will comment, where's your purple? That's good. So I know that I branded myself. I'm not saying everyone needs to brand a color, but what even what how you look professionally can help you. Yeah, and, and kind of our unique selling proposition is that, you know our title commitments come out in 48 hours or less, very very quickly. Yeah. You know, and that's kind of the thing that people use us for, and that's that's stuff that we have to reiterate and talk about, make it fast and efficient for our, our customers. So now marketing through so social media platforms. Here's um, where uh, my philosophy is, this is just me personally, you could do whatever you want to do, but I'm always a big proponent of a three to one uh, ratio of marketing. And what do I mean by three to one ratio of marketing? Yep. Okay. Um, when you're on LinkedIn and Facebook, you get hit with all the same stuff, kind of who they are, who they are. I like to do a little bit things differently outside of the title box every once in a while, yep. right? Outside of the real estate box, outside of the mortgage, 
you know, it's like if you're doing it most of the time, people are going to know what to do. But if you bring out something a little bit differently, you know, um, that catches their attention and, and so on and so forth. Just Instead like of just talking saying, title all the time. Like I was saying today, it has nothing to do with real estate. It has to do with nostalgia. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to give you an example. Look, can you get online for me again here? I don't want to screw up your computer, but I'll give you an example yeah. that I usually do in, in some cases. Has anybody been to the Attorney General? Uh, well, not physically there or in a, in, a, yeah. in a room with a light on you, <laughs> but to the website, right? So there's uh, know that. Yeah, <laughs> there's all sorts of publications there, and I do this in some of my seminars. There's like 24 months of marketing material in here for free. You just got to download the PDF, right? They used to send it out to you, now they cut that out. But This is great. Yeah, and so basically here's one um, that I had somebody, I think it's down a little bit further, Luke. Uh, Oh, right there, up there. This one? Nope, back up one more, right there. Unclaimed property. Has anybody in here heard of unclaimed property before? Raise your yeah. hands if you have. Yep. yep. Now, if you click on it, this is a PDF format. You could certainly send this out as a link or talk with a, you know, a gentleman or a lady that can do the you know, social media post for you and put something together. You can go to unclaimed property. You can search anybody's name anybody's name. I searched for my brothers, my sister, my mother. My mother ended up finding about $1,000 in unclaimed, you'll appreciate this, John Hancock insurance policy from 1948 oh when God. she was like a kid and she got $1,000 out of it. We tracked it down. It was worth a thousand bucks. Nothing to cost. We just, I just had, we had to notarize something, send it into the state and she got a check for it. Now, let me ask you a question. If you sent that out and you found somebody, some money, who are they going to remember? Right. Does it have anything to do with title or real estate? No. It's just exactly. great sensory information. And a lot of this stuff in here on, on that publication, seniors, uh, you know, fraud, all sorts of stuff. Well, and I think it's what he's saying is very true. You want to bring value to what you're saying, rather be on LinkedIn or Facebook. It doesn't always have to be what you do. You know, I don't talk about every day about home warranties. Yeah, and so, like, what are we in right now? We're in the midst of what? Tax time, right? Or before that. I mean, great information on tax time, you know, maybe some tips and resources and who to find tax. And we're coming upon what season? Well, hopefully. I don't know if it's going to get well, here or not. It's not going to be at this weekend, so don't yeah, sit no. there and curse me out. <laughs> right. Yeah, summer. You've heard of that before, right? <laughs> Summer, like summer vaguely, it was only about eight months ago, you know, but summer fun, yeah, summer fun. Have you guys all been to places where you went to and you enjoyed yourself, like in a campground? Well, share that information. That's what people want to know. Yeah. That's what Absolutely. people want to know. And then, you know, just, uh, and then one technical or two technical real estate. Okay, this is what I do, right? This is what I do. And everyone knows, what do I do? I post, it's warranty Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Find something that brands you. Again, going back to the branding, but everyone knows every Wednesday I post, it's Warranty Wednesday. It's the only day I ask for the business or I talk about what I do. If you want to talk about real estate all the time and mortgage, it sometimes it's kind of hard to come up with the material. You're good at it, but for me, it's like, okay, what do I talk about now? Owner's policies, title. No, I always talk about something new, you know, yeah. something different, something I can help things with. Like, for example, videos. Anybody interested in doing, well, you, yeah. you're the best at the videos. Steven, Steven Anybody do videos? I do occasionally. In fact, I, I was thinking. I do occasionally, too, you, as well. You need to get out of the box. And, in fact, I literally was just thinking, it's a beautiful summer day today. I'm going to make a video for next week. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, just kind of a fun idea. I saw a friend of mine that's a realtor dude. She spent like twelve or thirteen dollars on AI headshots, and they were hilarious. Like she had an extra two. Oh. Like, <laughs> that's and awesome. And I've never seen Comedy. a post get more like right. likes. She exactly. Could, she looked all pretty, but then like weird things were wrong. Her eyeballs. Were oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. That is original, and it that is fun. unique. That, yeah. Right. That's right? perfect. Yeah. No matter what it is. Now, videos, I'll give you a quick story on that. I, we did a video on an educational video. Um, there was a realtor that reached out to me and says, hey, do you guys do a lot of this? Or Because I think I was promoting the seminar that we're doing. I go, yeah, we do quite a bit of the 
education and training stuff. And he goes, really? He says, I'm kind of happy with my current relationship, but you guys are going to do this stuff? I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about using it. And he went to our seminar and he sent us a few deals. That's how the videos can translate right. into business and contacting exactly. through LinkedIn, right? I, if I had never done that, then that would, right. you know. So videos are always, and Luke could probably testify on this, is that they get a huge amount yeah, of. Yeah, Smart has a lot yeah. of videos. Thank you to yep. Luke. Huge amount. Now, videos, I would do 40 minutes. Then, Nobody no. wants to see me speak for 40 minutes. Less than a minute. Three to, I will even, even I would say if it's an informational one, if they're connected, three minutes maybe, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes. Might go more than five. I mean, think about if so you watch someone's video, it. how long are you engaged in that? Yeah. Community outreach. Thomas runs a, a lot of our community outreach stuff. Has that been impactful to us? Yeah. People yeah. like to see the community outreach. What are you doing for the community? It's a great way to promote your company, I mean, and the community. Right. And I right? think last year, Spar did a lot of, you know, building dressers mm -hmm. and community mm -hmm. outreach. That's how... I think a lot of us got involved, even in this real estate community. Yeah, and then and then uh, you know we're going to be in a parade, a title company in a parade. Hey. Really? <laughs> yeah, we're going to be in a parade, what and kind of we're going to be where it's going to be uh, uh, Manitou days. days in White Bear. Yeah. So we have an electric vehicle for Ancona that's wrapped a pickup truck oh, road fun. walk around. And, hey, send all your title people. People are going to go what? What's what title? is title insurance? Because <laughs> we always say. The, when I go with networking, right. what is that for? Yeah, when I go networking, and I go, what, what do you do? I go, I'm in title insurance. They're like, I, you don't know what it is, right? And it's like that. Nobody knows what we do. But it's it's about, about what though. Yeah, it's about what though. It's about branding and branding being part and of the your name out there. Whether they know what we need to do, our name's going to be out there. Is that education, educational seminars and trainings? Uh, that's my jam. I love that. I love the educational training stuff because uh we'll do you know you love to present to uh, real estate offices yeah, I, I love to do some stuff online and do it live in person stuff yep. but it's educating and showing that you're an expert or you know so in your field it's and, okay to do a video with uh training um, i want to say if this is kind of a side note but if you're meeting with someone or you're at an event such as this you got to get it out there you gotta like one of the first things i already posted that i was here today so you have, if you're doing a one-on-one -on -one with, I don't know who you are, with a new customer or whatever, client, potential buyer, take a, take a picture of brand and brand yourself and post. Yeah, that's, I have to do a better I job think, of that, but I'm Gen X, so well, I, I, we're kind of all behind our Ataris and stuff. You well, know? yeah, <laughs> hey, me too, me too, but yeah, I so. All right, connecting through LinkedIn and Facebook. This is a great way, remember we talked about generating connections? In, in leads and referrals. We talk, We just talked about back here about how to generate referrals and leads and marketing through some, some, some of these fun stuff too, but there's a couple different ways to do it. Your network on LinkedIn, right? Or your network on, on Facebook. Facebook. Yeah, I always look at that to see what my network is doing. Anybody on LinkedIn say, hey, I just started a new position with the balloons yeah. and all that stuff, right? Give you an opportunity to put yourself out there and say, congratulations. Kind of show them that information of what of what you do, right? The direct messaging. Yep. And what do you do on Facebook? It's Messenger, right? Yeah, I yeah. I mean, I get a lot of my. I may post something on Facebook, and people will respond to that. And direct messenger. Does everyone know what that is? You know. Yep. Or reaching out to your database, be a salesperson, and reach out. Like if someone posts something. And you're like, I want to connect with them. Maybe they just sold a home. Congratulate them. Do a direct messenger. If they post, congrat, you know, reach out to them. Yep. And then turn it into something for your own business. Yeah. A one-on-one -on -one meeting with them. I'm very selective with my direct messaging, too. Has anybody gotten direct messaging on LinkedIn that you know who that person is and they're just trying to sell you? Anybody get that? Yeah. Try to stay away <laughs> from that. And do bring us something of value. Exactly. You don't want to be too salesy. Yeah, you don't want to be too salesy at all. And especially with Facebook Messenger, yeah. you can actually put like a little link there. Yeah. You can do an attachment too. Um, and I'll always keep it short and simple to say, hey, um, I'll, like if I haven't seen you know somebody for a while, just check it in, see how you're doing, what's happening. What are you seeing out in the industry? I always like to ask other mortgage and real estate professionals what their view 
of the real estate yep. mortgages. That starts what? A question always starts a conversation. Yep. And you always want to just, uh, hey, I get these, man, these advertisements. Let's do yeah. lunch for five minutes. I can tell you about my, I don't even know who you are. Right. Let's build a relationship, right? Yeah. It's, a, it's like the old financial planner. You met for 15 minutes and wants to get five names and numbers and referrals right away. And they show you that. that <laughs> Sells that a bunch book. of insurance. Yeah. Yeah. Home yeah. feed, <laughs> sharing posts. I, and I, the home feed and sharing posts. You know that home feed? I spend, you know, maybe 25, 30 minutes a day on just looking at the feed and what people are up to. Yeah. Right? And, yeah. And I want to comment on that. Um, it's, imp I, I do spend a part of my day and I wouldn't say in the morning throughout the day, I'll be on Facebook and I think it's extremely important not, here's a helpful hint to maybe you already know this, don't like something, love it. Yeah. Because you, you get higher, that person posting will see it higher. So I was taught that. So I always love things. Also comment. You do an amazing job. Yep. You know, commenting, you know, that, because think about it. If, if you comment on someone's sale of their home, everyone else sees that you're commenting. Yep. And you're getting your name out there to multiple, not just the person that tagged it or posted it, but just being involved. Also, here's a simple thing that I do every morning when I, after I post, do you wish people happy birthday? Oh, yeah, I do every morning. Rather be and on LinkedIn. Yep. yep. I get it when it's my birthday. Mm -hmm. I'm like, it comes out of the woodwork. <laughs> it's nice to hear that too. Don't tell me people don't right. love it. Oh yeah, I you do. want it. You want yeah. the attention, or hey, I do. It's, I'm one Makes of those people. Good. I love my birthday. Well, I, I think it. for your other network, like realtors and stuff too, when you comment on their posts, it helps. There, there. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. You want to help them with their congratulations. Doesn't it make closing? it come up again? In the, on I the think so. Luke would know about that, but I think impressions are pretty important, right, yeah. in, in the LinkedIn the sphere. But I think it does. I'll, you know, I not, I might not comment. Like for example, we keep picking on Stephen because he does such a great job with his videos. I might not comment on everybody, but I know he's out there. Oh yeah, I, I will watch him. It doesn't mean I don't like him. It's just I. I don't want to be too generous with my compliment. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I can't, no, I'm just kidding. All right. I, man, I'm okay. joking. See, you got great material. I was just kidding. And so, you know, I want to want to be able to give, uh, you know, some information. But he does great videos. I just want to tell you that. Okay. Yeah. And, and also, I yeah. want to say something. I've done my own in the last year. Um, where you post. A lot of people post on their wall, which is great and I post on my wall daily but I don't know if you've noticed with your Facebook friends with me I'm posting more on my story mm -hmm. and I gotta tell you I posted a picture the other day of me in my car with the sunroof open loving this weather I had over 200 and you can see between Facebook and Instagram I think I had over 250 people viewed it because you can view what they're seeing hey, can you guys explain the difference between the wall and the story Yes. Yeah, you can do that. I can. Do you, does everyone know that? What that difference is? The, the wall, wall the, the, your wall, and your story. I don't know if I can. Acting after delay, I'm thinking. No, about I know. It's okay. I love the wall. It. <laughs> the wall. We know what the wall is, but I don't know if there's a Facebook so you can create a story. It's yeah. Well, does that, who doesn't know? Well, I, okay. I don't know. Okay, so here's where I posted on my wall. Like this was what I posted today. Yeah, I know about the but wall, then, but what, the do, story, what difference does it make? The story is all these at the top. Your story. Oh, so it shows at the it's when it's you like a, a story. It's story is only on, the on there for yes. twenty four oh, okay. hours. Like a book or a story. It's oh, only there for twenty four hours, and it came actually. I think started because of Snapchat would put it on your story, and realtors. I mean, everyone. Stephen, you do it all the time. I post on my story. And so it'll be just like five at a time then. It's one. Well, yeah, but Here, when you... Okay. excuse me. I'm going to apologize. But see, she put this on her story two hours ago. And you can light it. You can send a message. You can comment. But what's the benefit and who is it benefiting? And how does it benefit someone to do a story yeah. instead of a wall? It, you can see who views it. Yeah. yeah. You can, I get, like yesterday when I did, you can heart it, you can like it. And I got so many, not that I need, I wasn't, I was surprised, but I got like probably 30 hearts, 
people liking it or commenting. And it helps you with your just branding yourself. Hmm. And can, I get on Facebook every day. People have to click on that to see it, though, and then you Correct. see who clicked on it. Exactly. But then I never click on that because then I feel like I, if I click on it, I viewed it, and then I should comment on it, and I don't want to do that. But <laughs> you and I got to get together. Right. But start commenting on other people. I mean, I've commented yeah. on you, Steve, and you like, and you oh, guys on me. If I don't say something positive, then I look like I'm just spying so we got an example on of one up here. So. <laughs> I will say on this story thing on Saturdays, I put music on there. Exactly. And it seems to draw people from that I don't that's know. That's what Luke was over. saying. Yep. Yeah, I, and I've only I need to. Pro I actually learned that today. That's something I learned that I, I need to do more music. Yeah. And I don't. You do music, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Background. And that's on Instagram. They have stories at top right here. Do you guys see that on Instagram? Oh, yeah. It's the same thing with Facebook. What the stories are all about. Oh, okay. Yeah. Does that make sense? And then you just kind of click on. Yeah. That. And yep. people, I say, I see that your your clients. I don't care if they're homeowners, if they're past friends that could become a potential buyer. If they don't even know that you're selling real estate, or whatever you do, and then. They'll, they'll see it, and then they may know their cousin is looking to find a realtor. Oh, I didn't know. Mary's now a realtor. Yep. Um, <laughs> so that's kind of the story, the story piece of it. So Sorry, got the, a little nope, bit. That's okay. The networking groups. That was really useful. I, yep. I didn't understand Good. that, so that was great. Yeah. Networking groups are awesome because I, I love looking at networking groups. I want to get out there. One of my goals in my per, the goals for business is hitting so many networking groups and so many different things throughout the year. Um, and those are phenomenal, but you can actually categorize those networking groups, right? And then really market to them too. Anybody in a networking group, you know, you've got like 15, <laughs> 20, 30 people to go out and be advocates for you. And then you can specialize that and make it yeah, custom for just for that networking group. Or you can join, you know, uh, pages at the bottom there. I always like to follow pages and networking groups because then you might have like a thousand people in this one networking group and pages. It's really, really good to isolate and kind of put your information out there. Have you there. ever used Meetup for that? Uh, Meetup, I've, I've got Meetup. Uh, no, I think it's become more of a dating site now. I mean, no. kind of dating thing. That's what I see. I don't see many Meetup things that look interesting to me. I find a heck of a lot well, that's more. That's good to know because you're married, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> well, yeah, no, yeah. Educational events. You guys see educational events yep. on LinkedIn? I go yeah, to those I get a lot. as much as I can. And yeah, I spend a lot on LinkedIn. Yep, and I do a lot on LinkedIn or uh, LinkedIn with the educational events. Like uh, posted, virtual or like? No, so just, just like I specifically look for in live educational events. I've done I've done a couple. We went to one I think that uh, posted, and I said I'm going to go to this and check it out. Right. And we networked and met some great people and stuff is to get out there, which you can collect more information when you can collect the LinkedIn and do the things you need to do. So yeah. uh, with that, uh, I think we are completed because it is 1130. Mm -hmm. And any, so did you have any, yes? Yeah, no, any questions? I want to make one comment about posting because I really talked about the pages versus, I've done testing and I've posted something on my wall and the same thing, but different picture, if you will, on my story. And guess when, which gets me more. Your story. Yeah. Yep. People are using story more than ever because it's a quick, easier thing and you can see what who views it. Whereas you can't unless someone likes or comments your wall, you don't know who's viewing it. Now well, they it shows exactly who viewed it. Yeah, yeah. I'll show you. I'll yep. show you. So, so if, yeah. yeah. Other questions you Other guys questions have? before we wrap it up? That attorney general thing, where on the website was that, all that, those materials? Right on top. What does it say? Publications. publications. Oh, publications. Yeah, publications. Okay. So you go to attorney generals, and you'll see Keith oh. Ellis in there, and then you look on top, yeah. and it'll say publications, pop it in there. Okay. That's those great are great, great things to do. That's how I was teaching people how to just get your marketing material for 20. They used to send it out to you. They yeah. stopped doing that. that for Keith. Yeah. Keith yeah, they shut Keith. that down. So, you know, you get a box, you mail them out. You know, and it's awesome. But th those are great little things to have in your oh, mix. Right. And that's what I mean. And to reiterate the three to one ratio. Yeah. You know, find find uh, three of those non and sprinkle yep. in a technical one. Oh, 
Okay. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah. my three are just Happy Monday, Happy Tuesday. Yeah, you know? just little, get, you know, little right. things. No one wants to be barraged with mortgage all the time or yep. real estate all the time. Yep. They tune you out. Yep. But if they find something informational and then you spring some value in it. Yep. Like we go on Kona Title, technical, 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 technical. Right. And then I'll throw out a video or something on lead generation or do, you know, marketing or something like that to help people grow their business. Then they, you know, then they don't, you don't get tuned out. You know, if you're getting tuned out on the other side of it from other people, they're right. tuning you out too. Exactly. So, all right. Thank you guys. Thank Thanks, you. Luke, for having us out here. Appreciate it.